Hello. This is uh, going to be interesting. So if you're watching the replay, please comment or replay. I'm going to attempt to get this shared out so we can get some people watching. I'm doing a candy apple look, but... <laughs> oh, this um, challenge that I'm in right now, it's a bingo, but I'm going for blackout. I've gotten two bingos so far, I think. Um, it has gotten me out of the comfort zone, to say the least. Not only have I been doing makeup looks that are way out there for me that I've never done before, but using like makeup in different ways. So um, I'm going to attempt to get this shared out and then I'll ex explain what I'm getting at. <laughs> I thought the, um, finally caught you live. Hey, Ashley. So, <laughs> um, share this out, Ashley. This one's going to be interesting. I'm going for a candy apple look, but, um, the fact that I don't have any red, I have a red eyeshadow, but I'm not going to use that. I'm, uh, I'm doing something different here. What am I trying to do here? I'm trying to share some stuff out. Got to get some people watching us here. Because this one's... What was the last crazy one? The last crazy one I did was the... Um, oh, uh, not plaid. Flannel. Well, it was like plaid flannel, whatever. That one was just a hot mess. That's all there is to it. <laughs> I got some good pictures out of it. But dear Lord, that was interesting. Um... This one, I think, this one I'm hoping is going to actually turn out good, but it's going to be, it's going to be a road to get there. That's, that's for sure. Um, so I'm just trying to get this shared out a little bit. Anyone watching live right now, I appreciate you. So excited my the other day. Until you do something wild. Well, here we are. <laughs> I got, um, I'm in a challenge. For it's just bingo and it's different eye looks and each one you do you get you know once you get four in a row you get a bingo and I have two bingos so far but I'm going for blackout so I'm kind of like I, sp I purposely sporadically did them so I wouldn't just like okay I got my bingo and be done because we didn't have to go for blackout but um, I thought it would be fun therefore <laughs> some, of these, some of these looks are insane <laughs> We're going to see how this works. Um, like I was saying, I have a red eyeshadow. It's one that I got years ago in a subscri Ipsy subscription. But I do have a bunch of lipsticks that I got in my starter kit when I signed up at pharmacy. So we're going to keep this a full pharmacy face. And I'm going to get my red candy apple eye from lipstick. I've done liquid matte lipstick, and that wasn't so bad. That blended out really good. We're going, like, straight up lipsticks here. They're upside down. We're going lipstick on the eyeballs. So we're going candy apple. So I'm going to pull out all the reds that I have, and then we'll see. We'll see which one we go with. And since we're putting flipping lipstick on my eyes we might as well might as well go uh bold and crazy we might be doing more than one you never know i got a bunch it was way cool though and i don't think they do these anymore i think maybe they do some of them but they don't do this whole little kit this is way cool like this is a really cool way to try lipstick and i don't know that like i said i think they still they do like some of them in the starter kit but they don't do all of them but when i got my starter kit this we get a bunch of samples anyways with like catalogs and stuff but this was cool, and I've never really been a lipstick wearer. I'm getting more and more into it now. But it's nice to see how shades work on your face ahead of time. Okay, I shared you people should be popping on. Yay, thank you, thank you. If you're watching live, please say hi. Um, I like interaction. It makes it so much more fun. I'm chatty Kathy with myself, so that's no problem. But uh, other human interaction is good. <laughs> I'm a... Uh, I shouldn't say I'm home alone. My daughter is sleeping right now. My husband's at bowling. But, um, yeah, BRB. Okay, well, I'm starting with the eyes there, Ashley. So, uh, 
come back soon. Hi, Karen. Um, is anyone hopping on that I don't personally know? Let me know. Say hi and let me know where you're coming from so we can, uh, we can have a conversation here. So I think because I'm doing, I think I'm actually going to do eyes last. I think I'm going to do foundation first, actually, um, because I'm not doing anything creamy that's going to um, have fallout. So I think I will do my foundation real quick here. So I'm going to use the, I use both primers because I have high maintenance skin. It's not necessary for probably most normal people, <laughs> but my high maintenance face. And when I say high maintenance, I'm super dry in some areas, obviously more where um, I've been wearing a mask all the time. Um, it's getting very dry, so I'm treating that a lot different. And then I have huge, ginormous pores in this vicinity. So, huge ginormous pores calls for the silver primer, which is a silicone base, fills in those pores better than the purple creamy one. Purple creamy one is the illuminating, illuminator, illuminating, what does it say? Illuminating prime strobe cream. That's what that one is. But this one, this is the silver one, this one is um, pore filling. More pore filling because it's silicone base. My nose doesn't care for this one so much because my nose is very high maintenance and very dry. So primer on. We'll do, okay, I had everything out for her eyes first. So let's see. Um, we'll do a little bit of concealer. I've been digging this one, so let's just do this one. So pharmacy, I'm using a full face pharmacy here. Um, full disclosure right off the bat. Um, Let's see, I've got three different ones, so let's do. Okay, so as far as concealer goes, there's two options. There is full coverage liquid concealer, which has like your little doe foot. And then this one has kind of been my go-to because I've really only been focusing on like from here up <laughs> on my face because nobody sees this, which is nice. But I'm like, okay, well, if that's all we're focusing on, we really need to get rid of those dark circles. This is the full coverage concealer stick. This dries down more like powdery. Give me a little mirror. Um, so I think that's kind of why I've been gravitating, I don't need that, I don't need that right now, gravitating towards this one lately since the whole mask mandate came out. But I'm doing full face now because, you know, we're putting, flipping lipstick on my eyes, so, um, might as well. Karen, hey girl, oh, you're saying hi to Ashley. Oh my gosh. So like I said, I can be chatty Kathy with myself. But if you happy now and want to say hi, please do so. <laughs> I appreciate not just talking to myself. Get it, girl. I'm going. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so I'm popping on my face here quick. Covering up all this redness, dark circles. Dark circles aren't too bad because it's like it was worse in the morning. And it's like, it's way later than I normally do these two. It's almost nine already. I usually start about eight, eight thirty. But I was researching. I was a uh, YouTube and Pinterest searching. Cause I knew I was going to be doing this. I knew I was going to be doing it this way, but I still wanted like that right before, like watching somebody do this ish look, not this look, but some similar putting lipstick on my eyeballs. Not and it's not matte liquid lipstick, so we'll see. Okay, so since we're going super glam eyes uh, with this candy apple look, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to do the VFX Pro Foundation. This is the most full coverage foundation pharmacy offers. Dries down amazing. It is not sticky. It is not cakey. That is one pump. It has a pump. It's a glass bottle. It has a pump. It's like packaging on this stuff is legit. And um, in case you're wondering, pharmacy is all super, super, super affordable. Like affordable like this. Super full coverage off some foundation is $24 retail. Because I am a genius and decided to become a beauty influencer with pharmacy. On a whim. And it worked out. 
Um, I get it for half that price. So half of $24.90 is what? $12.45. So I get it for a lot less. But even still, $24.90, I've never really been a foundation wearer before I found, blah, 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 before I found pharmacy. But looking at and like comparing prices and stuff, it's, I mean, depending on where you go, but um, foundation prices range quick. So just saying, super awesome foundation. And I don't really go real heavy on it just because I'm not like a real heavy foundation lover. But I should have done a half face. I say that every time. Or should have done just half my face. You can see all my redness just disappearing. Let's see. She's so love to watch her and her precious baby girl when they do their makeup. Oh boy, Ashley. If you haven't seen all the videos of me and my baby girl doing uh, makeup then. Because sometimes she is a turkey. She is super. Okay, so my baby girl. She is two and a half. She's very much so a girl and very much so two and a half. She was the best baby. Like, literally, like, never cried. Started sleeping through the night when she was, like, six weeks old. She's my first and only. But, um, so, we're, um, I'm ready for a second. My husband's like, mm, no, because it ain't going to happen again. But yeah, she's literally, she was a perfect baby. So, I'm like, oh, my God, this whole motherhood thing. Like, why does everyone, like, think it's so bad, blah, blah, blah. And then she turned, like, almost two. I'm like, oh, <laughs> That's why. Um, she's sassy. She's very sassy. And chatty. Oh, dear Lord, is she chatty? I can't imagine where she gets it from. But um, the things she says are so funny. But, uh, yeah, she's sassy. So she likes doing bidos. She does bidos with me. And she says, Mama, I don't do bido. I'm like, okay, hey, are you going to be good? Yeah. Hmm. Depends on the day. Sometimes she's just a turkey. What are you all doing, lady? I have three-year-old. You should see us in our ring. Oh, my gosh, Ashley. I'm going to have to look. Because there, she's so funny because she wants, like, she wants to do the videos, her biddos. She wants to do them. And then we start, and then it's like, she'll sit and watch me do makeup. And she's just, like, just sits there, and she'll, like, she, I, we, this is our office where I'm at right now and she'll come down with me and she'll grab like sticky notes and draw on her sticky notes and she'll, um, her latest is checking emails. <laughs> she said, I'm checking emails. Okay. Um, she got that from her daddy. <laughs> daddy, what are you doing? He's checking emails. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'll, like do my makeup just normal and it's fine. But it's like, as soon as I hit live, it's like totally different story. Totally different story. Okay, so I don't want to leave anyone hanging here, and I want to get it exciting quick. So I think I'm going to finish the rest of my face after I do my eyes. I normally do that whole, like, bronzer, blush, highlight thing before. I'm going to do my eyes first because <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Okay, so since we got, let's see, we got five people watching. Okay, I'm going to need your help here, ladies. I think you're all ladies here. Um, I've got three different options that are all, like, red-ish color. So I've got a matte lipstick. Okay, one is matte, one is true color, and one is intense color. These are like the, um, I don't know what you call them. They're different like themes, I guess. Um, different kinds of lip, different kinds. Okay, so one is matte, one is intense, and one is true color. So these are the three that I have, if you can see them here. Okay, so this one here, let's start here. This one is matte, and this one is called Red Extreme. Is the light okay? Can you see that? I feel like it's glaring. Okay, this one, this side, Red Extreme. The middle is called Red Hot. It's a matte lipstick. And then this one on this side is Intense Color. It's called Instigator. So these are my red options here. So what should I start with? I will probably do two, if not three, but what should I do as my base? I'm going for candy apple. So we got to keep her pretty red. So which one? One. True color, red extreme. The middle one is matte, red hot. And this side is instigator. Red hot. Okay, your vote came in first. So that was the middle one, right? 
and that's the matte so that's good because I was actually watching a gal that was putting lipstick on her eye and she goes because this isn't matte I'm gonna blot it away here blah 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 so this one is a matte lipstick oh boy <laughs> It's about to get interesting. I said I've done the matte liquid lipsticks before where they have like little doe foot thing. And I put it on a brush and it blended out super cool. Okay. Okay. Red hot it is. So red hot matte lipstick. Okay. We're going for candy apple. You guys, I really am going to try. We're going to see how this looks. I'm no pro. I'm I'm like, um, I don't want to say brand new. I'm like five months into getting out of my comfort zone. We'll put it that way. Four months, probably. I'm going to start on the lid, and then I don't know if I'm going to have to blend. Whoop. Yep, start on the lid. See that? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Wow. Yep, that's some red, huh? So I think what I'm going to do, and I'm going to add some other stuff on top, but no shadow, I don't think. I don't think I'm going to do any shadow. Okay, where is my... Okay, we're going to attempt to blend, I think. We're going for candy apple, and I really am going to try and make this look nice. I promise. It's not... I'm not trying to make it crazy. But I don't have a red lipstick. And if you're just hopping on, you don't know what I'm doing here. My, um, I got challenged with my team with pharmacy to do, it's a bingo. So the bingo is a bunch of different squares. It's like a bingo card. A bunch of different squares. And each square, you know, if you get four in a row, you get a bingo. I have two bingos already. I'm going for blackout. And they're all different crazy looks. One of them being, and they're not like specific on what they are. Like one was just flannel or flannel vibes. So I did plaid on my eyeball. This one is candy apple. And I'm, because I'm like new to getting out of my comfort zone, I have not experimented a whole lot with like anything other than like nudie, neutral colors as far as like eyeshadows go. I did just order though two new palettes. My first palettes actually. I have not gotten any pharmacy eyeshadow palettes. I have this palette. This is the Peach Bite palette. This is a three in one face one, and I have used it on my eyes, but it's very neutral. Okay. Got some more there. If you're watching live, please say hi. I um, can talk all night to myself, but I do like human interaction. <laughs> I think, honestly, I'm going to ramble. I always do. I think, honestly, the reason I'm having so much fun with these and everything I'm doing here. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't fun. Um... But the reason I'm having so much fun is because, like, I don't do anything else. I go to work. Like, I'm lucky enough, luck, lucky enough to still have, um, like, I still have a full-time job. You know, I'm still able to go to work. I know a lot of people can't say the same with current circumstances right now. Um, so I don't want to complain, but, like, that's literally all I do. I go to work. My daughter goes to daycare. My husband works as much as he possibly can. Um, he runs his own business, so it's, it's, he's been affected. We can't say he hasn't. Um, I'm like, I'm gonna go downstairs and play with makeup. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. And then like these challenges, I'm like, sure, why not? I'll, um, put lipstick on my eye. That actually blended out decent for it being... I've never had red on my eyes before. Um, I don't know what I was getting at there. Yeah, I'm trying super crazy different colors, crazy different looks I never would have tried. And I have so much fun. And these nighttime ones especially are fun because you ladies hop on. 
and keep it company. That does not look bad. I mean, we're not even close to done here, but. Okay. So I don't know. Do I do the lower lid before I finish the top? Okay. I have a couple of different ideas here, so help me out. I'm kind of thinking to do like a, like smoke it out, like do like a red smoky eye, or I can keep it just full on red and do like um, some shimmer in the middle. I think I want to do shimmer in the middle anyways, because I did see one red, because I was actually looking for like red eyeshadow looks too, just to kind of see how people were doing them. So I think I'm going to probably pop some of this highlight on because the highlight in this Peach Bite palette is like a goldy color. Gold, goldy color, yeah. Um, and it's really pretty, and I have done that in the center. And I think because this is lipstick and it's like wet, I mean, it's a matte lipstick, but um, I think that'll look really pretty. But I'm trying to think of how to blend out, like I have it blended, but I need like something there. <laughs> I don't wanna get it too shimmery. I wonder if I don't take some of the blush. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I wasn't gonna do any powder, but I am gonna use, ooh, and I'm gonna use a super random brush that I don't ever use. <laughs> Cause I know myself and I know, I probably, ooh, unless I wipe this one up. I did bring a paper towel down. Um, I don't wash my brushes as often as I should. I'm gonna do this to you. Wait, you gonna put lipstick on her eyeballs? <laughs> Crazy girl, I watched on Facebook, did. <laughs> Why not? Okay, so I'm literally taking this and I'm just rubbing it all over this paper towel here. And then I am, I'm just going to dip into, because I don't want any like extra color up there, but I want to blend it out because it's still kind of, like I have it blended. But you got to have, you got to have a transition. <laughs> I talk like I know what I'm talking about. I, um, I don't. I mean, I kind of, I'm learning, but but by using something else to kind of help blend it out. See, that's a huge difference already. And this blush in this palette is super, super light. Yeah, it'd be so fun, heck yeah. Why not? And you might as well hit the live button on Facebook when you do it. Why not? Oh my gosh, and speaking about getting out of the comfort zone, so all these eye looks and stuff are like not things I would normally do. Like, if you guys would have saw me, like, whoops, um, let's say five, six months ago, I wear, wore eyeliner and mascara. That was it. No foundation, no concealer, no anything. Literally, eyeliner and, um, eyeliner and mascara. That was it. It was a lot faster, but I'm like, Ugh. and like I found pharmacy and I'm like, oh, cause I found it. Cause I was actually looking for foundations. Like, like, all right, I'm 32. I have a two year old. I need like that me time. I need something for me because my life is so, and I'm not complaining, but my life is so like a robot. Like it's literally the same thing day after day after day with the exception of what um, phrase has my two-year-old learned now. <laughs> but I needed like an outlet and I didn't know what, but just from trying to find like, you know, to put foundation on, I found pharmacy and they're like, well, the gal that I signed up with is actually Haley's, my daughter's daycare provider. She goes, well, the stuff you're getting for the amount you're getting, if you just sign up, it's 20 bucks. The starter kit is 20 bucks. She's like, you actually will get the rest of your stuff half off. And I'm like, oh, and it came to the same amount of the stuff that I was going to get. Because I was going to get like an eyeliner and a mascara. And um, and I actually wasn't even going to get a foundation right away. I kind of wanted to get a feel for the makeup and see what it was like first. Um, but I got some foundation. Um, I'm going to try to say um a thousand times. I got some foundation samples. So I'm like, okay, I'll try it out. And it was like, amazing. So yeah. Oh yeah, we can do a live. 
but if we do, Heidi, you'll have to watch. Well, you just gotta let me know. And as long as it's a time that my little tuts, she actually likes to watch videos with me too. I don't like to, I honest to goodness, like as much as I'm like on social media and all that, it may seem like it, but I'm really not on that often. And I'm not on when she's around. Like I'm kind of very anti on my phone when she's around. I just, I don't like that. Um, but she likes to watch videos. So she'll, she will watch sometimes with me. Like if I know somebody's going to be live. Oh yeah. Oh my God. I didn't think it was going to be that pigmented. That is a flipping highlight, you guys. Like, Peach Bite Palette highlight just my finger. And then Grant, like, so we're putting it on the lipstick here. But that is some highlight. But if you guys do, let me know. Shoot me a message. I love watching lives of fun lives. I mean, I watch a bunch. That's how I get these fantastic ideas. Holy bananas. That's insane. So I don't think I want to do a smoky eye. I kind of did, but I don't think I do. I think I want to keep it red and then, oh boy, getting this on my lower lash line and smudging it out. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. And I drink water through these, I promise. <laughs> if I didn't, it'd be even more interesting. <laughs> Me and Ashley are funny. I'm sure you are. Watch my lives. <laughs> you gotta have, you gotta have a, somewhat of a personality. To watch a gal that sits and rambles to herself for an hour or two. Have I ever had a two hour one? I think I had one that was almost two hours. So, okay, I'm nervous. I'm not nervous, we'll see. I think I'm just going to do the outer corner and then smudge it in from there so it doesn't get too crazy on the bottom. I have always seen, I've been watching YouTube, like YouTube makeup tutorials for a really long time, like a few years probably. And I watch these gals and they do these crazy makeup looks. And I'm like, where would you ever go with that? Like, on the, like, it's not a daily thing, obviously. But I'm like, gosh dang it, like, they look so awesome. But what would you ever do that for? And I think I'm realizing it's not to go anywhere. It's to entertain the people that are watching you while you're doing it. I'm pretty certain. I mean, I guess some people could do this and then go to the grocery store. And sure, why not? But I'm like, oh. I kind of get it now, I think. I mean, I don't know. I'm only speaking for myself here. But um, I feel like that's why. Looks good. Thanks. It doesn't look bad. I mean, it's it's crazy and definitely not something I would do on a daily basis like I was rambling about. But it definitely doesn't look bad. Who'd have thunk? What am I trying to say? Lipstick. That was an actual, like I said, the matte liquid lipstick. When I tried that the first time, I was like in shock how crazy it like, it blended out like a dream. I mean, you only need the tiniest little bit, but it goes a long way and it blended out so nice. I would wear that out. Sure. Why not? Why not? Looks like this, though. I feel like you would totally need false lashes. I have never worn them in my life. <sighs> the day is coming, though, because Pharmacy is coming out with um, false lashes. It's, um, I don't know if it's still a rumor, but as far as I know, it's happening. I don't know when. Um, I don't know if it's going to be this year yet or if it's, like, an early next year thing. But they have, like, so much stuff in the works that's going to be coming out, and one of them is false lashes. So, you know, I can't imagine the price is going to be bad because everything is so stinking affordable and quality is amazing. But like, look at that highlight. That's a highlight. That's crazy. Um, 
But if I'm going to get them for half price too. I kind of rub that one away. Oopsies. It's trying to uh, blend it out a little bit more like the other one. What's crazy about this too, like this would legit last all day, I would assume. I mean, it's a matte lipstick. Matte lipstick don't go anywhere. So it's like, you wouldn't need to set it with anything. Crazy, crazy. This is looking pretty darn good. Okay, eyeliner. Hmm. Do I do, can you devote again? Okay, do I do black or do I do white? What do you think? I feel like I don't think either one would look bad. This one I think would just br it's gonna brighten it more, and this one's gonna like obviously darken it more. <laughs> black is dark, white is light. Duh. Which one? Which one do you think I should try? Black or white? And these are two different kinds. This one is like a like a it's not like your pencil pencil. I mean, it is a pencil. Like, you sharpen it, obviously. You can tell I've sharpened it. But it's, like, creamier. And then the white one is, like, your pencil one. Ashley, think white kit. Ashley, you win. You told me to do red hot. Yeah, I was thinking about trying the other shades, too, somewhere. But I don't know what I would do with them. Like, I really... Do you, do you think candy apple when you see these eyeballs? Because that's what we're going for here. Let me get the white eyeliner going. So it's it's white. <coughs> Excuse me. Get frog in my throat from talking so much. Okay, we're going to try white and see how it goes. Ooh, it's going to get white all over. I'll sharpen it. It'll be all right. I'm going to get lipstick all over it. Oh, it's going to turn into pink. That's kind of cool. Just keep in mind when you're looking at uh, how these products are working here, I'm putting it on top of a lipstick. Yep. That doesn't look bad. Black. Jennifer Farmer, where did you come from? What the heck? I'm talking to you in days. How are you? I was actually thinking black there too, but Ashley voted white first, so. Ah, uh, sorry. This is nuts. It's flipping it. Mas mascara. Lipstick. I kind of honestly thought this one was going to end, end up disastrous, but I said crazy bold. Not something I would do on the daily, but... I wouldn't, I'm not calling this a disaster. I think we're looking pretty, pretty darn glam. White looks good. Yeah, it does. I'm not going to use white enough. I got it for a reason because I, I do like it, especially because I have super brown eyes. Awesome. So I think that with, um, I'm going to wipe this off before, <laughs> before I even put it away. Next time I go to use it, I'm like, what in the hell is going on there? Um, but I think with some mascara, it's mascara, like every time I do like a crazy eye, anything bolder than normal, I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. And then I get my mascara on. I'm like, oh yeah, it brings it all together for sure. I love the white. Thank you. Let's go back. Let's make sure I didn't miss anybody's comments. I appreciate all you watching me, so I don't want to miss your comments. Okay, I'm going to get some mascara on, and then i got to finish the rest of my face. 
I have noticed that when I get to rambling and when I get like excited, I forget steps. <laughs> I totally like one time I was watching one of I, I rewatched some of them. I don't rewatch all of them. Sometimes I'm just like, yep, that's just going to sit and live there because uh, <laughs> we don't need to relive that. But um, one of them, I had like a super cute, it was one of the bold eye ones I look, I did. And I never put eyeliner on and I don't think I ever did my lower lashes or something. So I'm looking at pictures, I'm like, something just doesn't look right. I'm like, oh dear Lord. That'd be why. Okay, so I'm going to do 3D Effect Mascara. Because I have the three that I have. Pharmacy has like eight different mascaras. And they're all, they all serve a different purpose. The, these three that I've tried are all amazing. They just serve different purposes. Optimal is the first one that I got. This one is like lengthening and separating and um, some fullness, but not super, super full. It is a, it's a smaller silicone wand. Zen is like everyone's favorite. It's just the most crazy, ridiculous mascara you've ever seen in your life. The wand is crazy. I'll show you the wand. This one is lengthening and separating is what this one does. But the wand on this one, it's a silicone wand as well, but it's long on top and short on the bottom. So it's like it picks up your lashes and like lengthens. And I guess kind of, it might curl a little bit too. I usually curl my eyelashes every day anyways because mine are so shrimpy. But then the bottom of it, fits so good on your lower lashes so zen is it's the most affordable this retail is eight ninety eight dollars and ninety cents this one i think is ten ninety but kind of my go-to and especially for bolder eyes is the 3d it's a fiber brush it's a bigger fiber brush i think this one don't quote me but i think it's 11.90 so still like i said when i mean the prices on this stuff is insane oh from lashes um prices on all of this is so affordable so 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 affordable but good like it's not cheap like the word cheap just does not exist in the pharmacy world could because they manufacture all their own products there are no middlemen i am the middleman not me well i am one of the middlemen it's beauty influencers, the people that sign up to sell it, or the distributors. So that's why they're able to keep their prices so low because they manufacture and box and ship all of their own stuff. They have, they're based out of Turkey, Istanbul, Istanbul Turkey, um, but they have a warehouse in Miami. And they're in the process of building like a facility in the United States also. I do believe it's in Florida too. So that'll be nice for shipping purposes and stuff. But like I said, the warehouse is in the warehouse that most of my stuff gets shipped out of is in Florida. But so people are always thinking like, okay, if it's affordable or people say cheap, if it's cheap, why is it? It can't be that good. Well, it's not cheap. It's affordable and it's affordable because they do it right. They don't pay Sephora to sell it. They don't pay Macy's to sell it. They don't pay Ulta or Walmart or whatever. So just a little history right there for some facts. But anyways, super, super, super good. So you can tell, okay, so like watch, watch the difference. Just watch. And I am no pro. I'm getting better. I'm getting, I think like literally by the day I'm getting better at putting on mascara. Because I always get it on my eyelid. But I'm getting better. And I have been told the trick to that is to put a thin line of liner on your lid. Well, I tried that not too long ago. <laughs> and it did not end up a thin line. It was not a straight line. It was no good. <laughs> That technique did not work for me. I tried it, and I'll try it again. But uh, I got a good look going here, so I don't want to ruin it. I can't hardly draw a straight line, period, with a pen and a paper, let alone with a ink liner on my eyeball. So 
So I'm just sticking with trying to uh, get better. And I have not dipped back into the mascara. This is all what's on the wand. So depending on what kind of mascara you like, or like what you want it to do, I guess. We got options. There are, I think, I think it's four or five other ones that I have not tried yet. One of them is waterproof. I know that. I haven't tried that one yet. There's an extreme curl, which you don't need. Supposedly you don't need. And I've, I've seen pictures of it, but I just haven't personally tried it. My trick is letting my best friend Ashley do it. <laughs> Your mascara. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know that I would let anybody else put mascara on me. They probably do a good job, but... Uh, I feel like I'd be terrified that they're going to poke me in the eyeball. But do you tell, I mean, you can tell, right? You can tell a huge difference in my eyelashes. Yes, you are brave. I said, I'm sure somebody else could do a really good job for me. I love getting like, Anybody playing with my makeup or playing with my hair, like I dig all that. It's so relaxing to me. It is though. I have found that this is super relaxing for me too. I like sitting and playing and doing it when I have like time and I'm not on time crunch and I'm not on my way to work and all that. But she's the best and she does makeup great. Ashley, you're getting all these compliments here. Tammy, you are such a nice friend. We're looking pretty good. Let's do lower lashes. I'm super quiet when I was concentrating. Oh man, I'm impressed. The way this looks. I'm getting better at not making such god awful faces when I put on my <laughs> mascara too. <laughs> <coughs> I tap too much. I get froggies in my throat. my brother was little he used to say things like backwards and funny and he was like I don't know probably three he'd say I, I eat it a frog <laughs> that's what I think every time I say I have a frog in my throat <coughs> mama eat it a frog <laughs> oh little kids say darndest things looks beautiful thank you Tammy I dig it okay let's finish this face before I forget Sticking with Peach Bite Palette. Blush, bronzer, highlight. Three in one. This palette is the best. And the pans are like huge. This one retails for oh, $19.90, I believe. So blush, bronzer, and Highlight for $19.90, 20 bucks. I never thought I would like bronzer either. Like, my, that just seems kind of silly, but my face just doesn't even look right without using it now that I'm like totally brings just definition back. I know the light kind of, I have lights on the side. Kind of makes it wonky. But when I take pictures, it just, because when you put foundation on, like you're covering up your face, you know, whatever blemishes it is or whatever it is that you want to cover up, whether it be redness or 
brown spots or you know whatever but you're making your face all one color and that's it's just not natural I mean makeup is never it's not natural but to keep it natural you add bronzer into the spots that you would have shadows naturally so it doesn't make your face look so washed out with foundation obviously if you, you want the foundation that matches your skin tone and your neck you want to always match your foundation to your neck not your foundation to your face so that it all blends together and that's what i'm here for if you're interested in a foundation i can color match you i do too forget to breathe well I breathe, but I'm just like, la 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 la, chatty, chatty, chatty. There we go. There's bronzer. Let's blush her up, highlight her up. Ooh, now we gotta do lips too. Got this bolder than I. We might as well have some bold lips. I am like proud of myself on this one. Going for candy apple. That's what I was going for. I love this look. I don't think it would be quite as dramatic without, without the red on the bottom and maybe some more shimmer on the top. That would be legit. Yes, I agree. I have found though like I never use well, I never used to wear eyeshadow much anyways, but um since I have started putting like doing bolder eyes, I do and really like doing the lower lash line. But yeah, it definitely makes it way more dramatic. Cause even I mean I stayed as close to my lower lash line as I could and it's still pretty smoked out. But it all but I was able to get it rounded. So we're good. But yeah, no, totally. Without that done, it wouldn't be nearly as dramatic. And more of the shimmer, yeah. That I'm that's like amaze balls there. That highlight. That was awesome. I didn't know it was gonna be that pigmented. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay, let's highlight. So the same highlight that's on my eyes and then I think we'll do some lips and I think we'll be good I don't know what else I could really do here I don't know if you can tell on the camera how shimmery this highlight is I mean you can obviously clearly tell on my eyelid on my face too it's just I never wore highlight before but now I'm like hmm yep I need that one thing I need to master for sure is my eyebrows I have never I did my eyebrows one time on a live and they didn't look bad but I was using an, the only eyebrow powder that or only eyebrow product that I have and it was from an ipsy subscription forever ago and the brand is god only knows what and ipsy would actually send mostly pretty good brands but it's so old and it's i don't know i don't know okay condition lip conditioner oh, i am so excited i placed an order on so placed two orders i placed one on sunday and then i placed one on yesterday on yesterday because yesterday was Veterans Day and they had so many sales going on. I, um, thanks, Jenny. How are you doing? I have not talked to you in so long. Um, but one of the things that I ordered on Sunday, so I've always used the lip conditioner. This is really the only lip product they have other than lipsticks. Um, they do have a lip plumper. But like as far as like hydrating, like chapsticks, anything like that, it's the lip conditioner and it's legit. Like it is heavy duty conditioner. But they just came out with, I think, maybe like two weeks ago, three weeks ago, they came out with a lip balm. 
and it's in like it, oh, it looks like it's in like a squeezy tube so I think it's probably one of those like reminds me of like Carmex like how that came in that squeezy tube that's what it looks like but I haven't seen it it just came out so I don't know if anyone actually has it in hand yet so I haven't seen it but I ordered that so I'm super excited because I just I don't know most pharmacy products are hydrating anyways like nothing is drying like even the matte liquid lipsticks they're not like they dry matte they look matte but they're not icky it's just this stuff is insane you guys just insane i wouldn't say it if it wasn't true we totally are rocking this look we got lips to go <laughs> And I never wear red lips. I was playing with red lips or with, with a bunch of different colors on Saturday, I think it was. I did a live with my daughter and she was being a poop. So when she, after the live, I'm like, okay, because I was actually going for bold lips in that one. Um, but I played with a couple different ones. I don't know if I did this one or not. So this is the same one that's on my eyes. Dear God, I hope. Yes, matte. Matte red hot, yes. So this is the same, same one that's on my eyes. concentrating <laughs> yes I saw that life it was cute oh my god she yeah she's cute for sure <laughs> she threw I think three different fits um she sat and pouted and when she was pouting she was literally sitting behind my phone so you can hear her going hm, hm, hm. she was I pissed her off about something I'm not sure I think I didn't want her to play with a candle or something um yeah no right been so long I'm doing pretty good these days thanks for asking you betcha I haven't been home in a long long time ooh dab some shimmer on the center of those lips oh good call Ashley I got I'm not picking a bug, I promise. I think it's like dry skin. Or, um, you know what I think it is? I think it's um, a piece of cotton. Because <laughs> I washed my face right before I did this. You know, just do live. Pick my nose. Pick cotton out of my nose. Yes, shimmer. Maybe blend a little of the darker red lipstick too. <gasps> Ooh, you know what I could do? Jenny, good call. Um... Okay, so that's red. Okay, these are both darker. This one's the brightest of the three. Okay, I'm going to show you again here. So this, this is the one. Can you see these? This is the one I just did. But I think if I take, oh, probably this one. I'm going to do this one. Sorry, you don't have to vote. <laughs> I've seen people do this with, like, lip liner. So I don't know if this is going to work. But do, like on the outside oh, it's not really showing a difference I don't know if this has ever been used what's this one instigator yes this one did you I used this one the other day she's doing candy apple up Hi, Darla. Oh my gosh, you guys. What did I just do? <gasps> you there? <laughs> I flipped my camera around. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm not really seeing a difference here. I'm trying to do the darker one. It's on the outer. I'll fix that. 
just on the outer part. I'm not really seeing a difference. Hmm. Bummer. This is like way darker than the other one. But exactly what I was thinking. Reminds me of deep red and red delicious apple. I'm going for candy apple here. So that's perfect. What's on this one? Darla is my sister-in-law. She also sells pharmacy. Ooh, so she knows the good stuff. It's so fun. I never thought I'd be in sales. I had tried two direct sales companies <clears throat> before. One a long time ago. And it was disastrous because it was all like cold calling and you chased everybody away and it was, it was not good. Um, and it was very expensive. The product was, it was one product at the time, became two. The starter, everything was so expensive. I was like literally going broke. I'm like, okay, yeah, this ain't working. And then the second one, I did it just to get a discount on the products and they were all really good products. And I literally used them up until I tried pharmacy. Cause I'm like, okay, pharmacy is less expensive. Those weren't real bad priced, but, um, pharmacy was better. I like the quality better. The price was better. It was just a no-brainer. But I never really sold that one. Like, I never really tried to sell it. I never, like, I don't think anyone ever even really knew I did it. I just kind of did it for, like I said, for the discount. It's kind of what I thought I was going to do with pharmacy, too, until I realized how fun it was. So here I am. Hi, I'm Heidi. I sell makeup. <laughs> And skincare and all the goods. That's not what these lives are all about, though. Yes. It's like taking a bit to get there. I feel like. You can see it, but like I need a, so I'm like putting, I'm dabbing it on my finger, but then my finger's getting red and I don't want to keep dipping my red finger into my highlight and ruin it. Let me wipe my finger off and then we'll, we'll go in deeper. I'll try applying more highlight to my lips. <laughs> oh my gosh. Those lips make the eye makeup look light. Weird, right? Because it's literally the exact same color. It's weird. When I did the matte liquid lipstick, too, on my eyes, it looked like the shades are so different. But I have super pigmented lips, and your eyelids are obviously just skin color. But, yeah, it almost make, it makes my eyes look, like, pink now. They did look red. But compared to my lips. Okay, I'm going to go in heavier with the highlight. Oh, uh, they do, it's crazy how lips tie in. Yes. I dig it. I really do. I, I honestly like, I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to use lipstick, like legit lipstick on my eyes. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> but that totally, totally worked. And if I could just figure out how to do my eyebrows, for one, I need to get them like, they need help, like waxing, plucking the business. I usually get that done when I, I get them waxed and like cleaned up. Um, when I get haircuts and I don't know the last time I got had a haircut was it was uh 
it's been a long time. Like we're talking probably about a year. Okay, where's well, that red hot? There it is. We need that for photo op purposes. <laughs> Perfection. Love the way your eyes pop now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, said not disastrous at all. I'm pretty darn proud of this. So I got candy apple going on here. Um, so I got bingo going on and that's hence these looks that I've been doing. Some of them have been more like casual and I've been able to do like early mornings, you know, quick before work type of stuff. But, um, I keep the ones like these for nighttime. <laughs> I've got, um, okay. What do I have left? Um, I'll continue to do fun stuff obviously, but I'm just thinking for my challenge. One of them, my husband is going to do for me. He's told me twice now. He's like, I guess I'll do it. So I'm hoping that should be this weekend. One of them, I should get them microbladed. Dear God. Hi, Amanda, by the way. But dear God, that's. <laughs> I guess, but that's like low maintenance though, right? Like once you get that done, you don't have to, like I wouldn't have to touch them. Right? Definitely add this look. Future outings. Well, I don't go anywhere other than to work. And I wear a face mask while I'm at work. So you can literally see, like, that much of my face while I'm at work. Um, you sexy now. I'll have to leave this on before my husband gets home from work. I always do leave them on. The last, because I, I, Thursdays are super fun for me to do these because then I'm not, like, ignoring him. He's not home on Thursday nights. He gets home later because he's at a bowling. And my daughter's sleeping. So, like, Thursday's, like, prime time for me to do these. Like, I'm going to sit by myself anyways. What am I going to do? Read a book. Well, I actually like to read, but, um, last week I did the flannel look on the one eye and then I did like a smoky pink on the other. <laughs> he got home and he's like, what is going on with your eye? I'm like, remember how you were showing me how to draw flannel? <laughs> he's like, that's not what I showed you. <laughs> Cause he's super artsy. Um, so of the bingo, he's going to do one for, cause he is like super, super, super artsy. Like he can draw, he like, he's really good. So he's going to do one for me. I have another one that I'll probably do maybe this weekend. We'll see. I don't know if any, any more are actually like crazy though. We can make them crazy. But, um, uh, yeah, once it's done, you really don't have to do anything, but get waxed every so often. That, that might be a possibility. I've just, I've never, the one time on a live I, I tried, I have some prout bar, blah, 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 brow powder that I've had for like years. Like I'm not exaggerating, like well before my daughter was born or conceived or anything. So like we're talking four or five years ago probably. And so I tried it and I didn't do it. Like I did okay, I think. But like my brows, like they need help. Like they need to get waxed. Like so they have more of a shape. And they're not such a mess. Um, I think I can figure out how to do them. I just need to get the products to do it. Pharmacy does have a um, brow mascara. And I think that might work for me. Because other than like trying to, you know, get this part in line. Because I think like my tails are okay if they're cleaned up. My arches are decent when they're cleaned up. It's just this part right here. And like they're pretty full. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to sit here and ramble about my eyebrows. Wah, wah, wah. But thank you so much for watching. I am super jacked at how this turned out. I am so proud of myself. I um, got it all nice and blended out. And if you missed when I was doing my eyes, I am wearing lipstick on my eyes. Like legit lipstick. And then highlighter. So, worked out good. I got the white eyeliner. I got the 3D mascara. <laughs> I'm losing my train of thought. It's getting late. I'm old school. I use a brow pencil and brush. So yeah, that's what I think. The mascara I think would just be easy because it would just like fill them in a little bit more because when I put foundation on, I feel like my eyebrows get so much lighter and the mascara would just bring like the color back. But the pencil I think would be super easy because it would, I'd be able to draw the little line and just kind of, you know, fill it in and brush it out. Cause I've got one of the, um, fancy little doohickey. This guy, like I've got one, you know, a spoolie, spoolie. There you go. I know what it's called. 
you know, so like, I feel like I could do that, but I need to get them cleaned up because they're like really bad. Really, really, really bad. Okay, I'm going to continue to ramble here. So I'm going to say bye-bye. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Jenny, nice seeing you, talking to you, whatever you want to call this. Um, it's been a very, very long time. I should message you. Um, see how everything's going back home. I haven't been there in so long. And it's not going to be anytime soon. I know that. That's sad. Um, but yeah, so thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, if you don't already, either go follow me or friend request me. I do these live videos fairly often. Um, if you have any questions on any of the makeup that I used, it's all super, super, super affordable. I can get you color matched for any foundations, um, any questions on any different kinds of mascara, anything. There is skin um, skincare. Um, I'm super into skincare as well. I have super combo skin, so I understand the dryness. I understand the oiliness. Um, and if it's a skin type that I'm not aware of, somebody on my team does, and I can help you out there too. We've got, we've got all kinds of stuff. Um, we've got, there's baby stuff, there's perfumes, there's lotions, there's laundry detergent. I mean, literally pharmacy's got it all. So if you haven't looked into it at all, I highly suggest it. Um, my links are kind of sporadic all over the place on my, on my personal Facebook there. But I appreciate you watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.